Hey Pulse Youth Group, this is David, your youth pastor. It is Wednesday, April 27th, 2011, and these are your Wednesday announcements, high school. Now, you've got to be putting on your name tag right now because in Pulse Youth Group, we've been doing name tags forever, and it promotes friendliness and all kinds of good things, uh, but it's actually getting out of control. I mean, now the church is starting to wear them, and people worldwide are starting to put name tags on. It's just crazy. And check out this video of people randomly putting on name tags on this chick on a scooter. It's just weird. Jeez, it's been such a weird day today. I'm so glad Mary let me borrow her scooter. Oh, those scooters. I wish I had one. If I did, I'd start a scooter gang. It would be so tough. If it were tough, people wouldn't bother me. I'm so sick of that. I don't even know what was going on today. Whoa. Do I even know you? Who are you? Why are you walking up to me? Oh, oh. Uh, why are you pushing on my helmet? What is this? Dork. Psh, I'm not a dork. Okay, maybe a little. Actually, I'm pretty awesome. I don't really know what that was. I mean, I thought maybe she's just having a bad day. What the heck? Second time? What's this? White trash. I am not white trash. This scooter is awesome. It was expensive. No way, you're not gonna do this. No, you're- you just did that. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? What the heck is wrong with you? Loser. I'm not a loser. I'm not- oh, come on. Get, come, come on! Hey, those look like nice people. high school you need to get signed up for camp right away uh, spots are quickly disappearing uh, so let me know as soon as possible uh, that you are 100% going you have that May 3rd deadline and that is uh, the cutoff date for being able to register and that's coming up next week so get in or get left behind need help getting to summer camp is money a problem well, uh, it's a lot of money to go to summer camp, but it's an amazing experience, and we want to help get you there. So May 1st, uh, that's in two Sundays, uh, we're having a talent show slash potato bake slash wall o money. Uh, I need some help making the uh, the numbers, uh, and each and each uh, one of these envelopes is a special prayer card for camp and the opportunity to win a gift card. And it all goes, all the money raised through this goes towards your summer camp. So money will not stand in the way. Money is not a reason uh, to not go to summer camp. Uh, so if you have talent and want to perform for the talent show, sign up for that. We need help cleaning up, setting up, serving the food. There's lots of ways that you can help and earn your way to summer camp. So May 1st, be there. Hey, I just want to show you guys this letter from the Crisis Pregnancy Center. Now, the church has been a huge supporter of the Crisis Pregnancy Center for a long time. We recently did this baby bottle drive uh, to raise money for them. And this letter reports that we were able to raise uh, $1,139.15. So, um, praise God that uh, we were able to lend so much support to them. Uh, if you go on the PulseYouthGroup.org website, at the very bottom, there's a link to Crisis Pregnancy Center. Uh, they do lots of great things for uh, women and men 
uh, as far as medical things and they have a baby boutique where mothers can go shopping and get uh, free things and free diapers and uh, it's just a great ministry that just helps out a lot of people uh, so just thank you for all that supported uh, Lori wanted me to pass on that thanks and uh, check out that link May 1st, um, in the morning, uh, we have an informational meeting for all the workers for VBS. So if you signed up for VBS, you need to be there. Uh, also, if you haven't gone through our child policy class, uh, you need to go through that to get signed up for VBS because the kids are important. And uh, VBS is just an amazing time. I'm excited about all the things that are coming up. Uh, so if you haven't yet to sign up, man, we need you to help out for VBS. And uh, remember, uh, the meeting and the class uh, as well. See David for more information. And we will conclude the announcements with two things. Today, uh, our foster son, our 18-month-old foster son, uh, went home to be with his forever family. So just praise God for that. Uh, it was an amazing two and a half months with that little curly-haired cutie. Uh, be praying for him uh, and his new family, um, his uh, aunt and uncle, uh, we're going to be taking care of him forever and uh, be praying for the Taylor family as we deal with that adjustment of him not being around and that uh, big hole in our hearts. And uh, also be praying for uh, Zachary. He's uh, going to his forever family on May 3rd. He's going to be adopted uh, six months after that. Um, and we are just so excited that he has found his forever family. And it has been a wonderful 18 months and we are going to miss him. Uh, but thankfully, he's going to be close enough by that uh, we'll be able to get to see him every once in a while. It is going to be Mother's Day. The Bible says to honor our mothers. And if you are looking for a Mother's Day gift, consider this one. What's the best way to make a great thing awesome? Make it 128 times more massive. Introducing the world's largest gummy worm, a two and a half foot long, three pound feast of gummy candy. This 4,000 calorie snack has all the same details of a regular sized gummy worm, like dual flavors and several different tasty combinations, such as cherry and blue raspberry, a ribbed body, and even a little smiley face. But because of its incomprehensible size, our test groups often didn't know what to do with the gummy worm. Make no mistake, the world's largest gummy worm is yours to be devoured. World's largest gummy worms make great gifts for those with a sweet tooth, or 12. The world's largest gummy worm. Buy it now at vat19.com. And hurry, you know what they say about the early bird? <laughs>